All right. Another month has gone by. Another Boksu. So, for those unaware, Boksu is a monthly subscription service. Sends Japanese snacks, tea, candy, all that fun junk to your home. It's a bit spendy, but I've found this is to be very, very fun. And these videos have been very popular, and I've been loving it. I'm almost up to my second year. So, this is January's box, but I list them as the month that I get them. So, these usually take around 30 minutes to 45 minutes to get through. Give my honest reactions as an unboxing, just snap decisions rather than editing and all that junk. We'll see what happens. So, got that. And let's open... Okay... It looks like Manake Neko. Okay. Let's set that. So, Osho got two fortunes. Interesting. Let's see how this goes. Osho got two fortunes. Join us in celebrating Oshogatsu, the biggest holiday of the year, also known as New Year. Oshigatsu is a time when families come together and celebrate the transition from the old to the new, marking a fresh start and a clean slate, steeped in traditions as well, with elaborate f um, feasts and dishes that symbolize different wishes. This month we've curated snacks that are reminiscent the feature of white, gold, and red packaging, colors that are considered suspicious. So we got our list of where snacks are from. The Let's Learn Japanese, Shinen, New Year, Otoshi Dama, New Year's Money, Hatsu Yume, First Dream of the New Year, and Onikuji, Fortune Slips, those things that you would get at uh, shrines celebrating New Year's. So, as usual, I'm looking for my spit of tea first. Let's see. And yeah, a lot of this stuff is definitely different. Aha! Uh -huh. We've got our organic hojicha tea. Hojicha is made by roasting sencha green tea, which adds a toasted flavor that's lower in caffeine content. Yay! I've been trying to cut down. This particular hojicha is lighter in flavor, making it perfect when paired with sweet and savory foods. Good start. So, I usually save the booklet uh, under the thing until I finish the book, too, so... Because that takes a little bit of time to get through. In case you didn't know, Oshogatsu, or Japanese New Year's, traditionally when people travel home and spend quality time with their families, similar to Thanksgiving in the U.S. I'm looking forward to doing that just this year, or doing just that this year, flying back to Tokyo to eat Oseti Ryori. Uh, Ryori. Traditional dishes eaten during the holiday, visiting shrines and reflecting on this past year with my family in Japan. A message from the owner there. there. There it is. The organic hojicha. And I believe this is steep for 30 seconds. Yep. So I'll do that and I'll start that. So this came at the perfect time because I usually have like a early lunch, like around 10.30 to 11. I'm recording this right as I'm done streaming. And, you know, I do that and go shopping. So, ooh, we got a interesting cake there. Making sure that sometimes the thing breaks and I just got to make sure it doesn't do that. Anyway. Uh, also, we've got Wako... And, okay, where's the new year, all fun games. Oh, an interesting thing. We've got new uh, things to mention here. Passing down prosperity. During the new year, children in Japan receive Oshi, Oshi, Otoshi Dama, which is money given to from parents and other relatives. Tradition dates back to the Edo period of 1603 and 1868 as a way for families to spread happiness at the beginning of the new year. 
So these are things I've not been mentioning in the last few months, so we'll get to that. The New Year's dreams. If you dream of Mount Fuji, hawk, or an eggplant on the first night of the New Year, you may have some luck coming your way. Hatsuhime is the first dream people have on the night of January 1st. It's meant to predict their luck for the New Year. Prayers for the New Year. Another New Year's custom is visiting a shrine and getting an omikuji, a paper slip with a fortune written on it. You pay a fee, shake a box of omikuji sticks until one falls out. The number on the stick indicates the fortune you receive. You typically tie their fortune to a tree to make it come true. And all fun and games. During Oshogatsu, people will pay, play a few games, including Hagi, Hagi Yota. Uh, ha, no, Haguita, excuse me, which are small, decorated wooden paddle that players use to strike away bad luck. Tako, uh, Tako Age, a kite flying game, and Karuta, traditional card game. I've heard of Karuta. It is poetry and memory. So, before I get my. Before I get my tea, I found the Lucky Manju Milk. Manju is a soft, traditional Japanese steamed cake that's filled with sweet onko, red bean paste. This one is decorated with this year's zodiac, the Year of the Dragon. Its packaging design features an Emma, which is a wooden wishing plaque found at shrines. So we'll open that once I get my tea. So it's normally green, but I'm definitely seeing hints of black. Could be a... Well, no, I didn't steep it too long, I don't think. But green tea and black tea are essentially the same thing, just how you, how you steep it, so I might have went a little one. But it is a toasted hojicha. Uh, spent a little time talking to my brother. We were giving gifts for Christmas. So, let's see... Get the silica gel. Get the silica gel off there. The package he sent me was a bunch of core power uh, protein drinks. It's been my go-to uh, go-to gift for a while. Ever since I drank a bunch, those things are really good, and they don't have a ton of fat in them anyway. So there's our lucky Manju. Hmm. There you go. A little bit of bean paste, so you, know, you can see the camera there. Subtle flavoring at the end there gets you really nice. Mm. It's like a bread pudding, bread, you know, like bread with paste. Good start. Very good start. Not too sugary. Not too bitter. That's right. Okay. Got one with an interesting packaging here. So let's see. What's... Oh, I, I remember this one. Black Thunder! Almond and hazelnut. I had, I think I had one of these last month. It was really good. One of the most popular snacks in Japan, Black Thunder, comes in a variety of scrumptious flavors, including this crunchy version with crushed almonds and hazelnuts. Right. So you make sure my microphone doesn't get wrecked there. <laughs> I like saying that. Black Thunder. White Lightning. So uh, <laughs> I don't think they stole that from Major League Two, but that's totally what it was. That's what it reminds me of. It was it was a nice joke. Um, here we go. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. 
So, um, so we already have a winner. <laughs> this thing. Uh, I like that. Nice, subtle hazelnut, good almond, good crunch, just solid, just chocolatey and nutty. It's good stuff. Oh, that is good. So I'm two for two on Black Thunder. <laughs> Whenever I see that in bulk suits again, I know I'm in for a good one. So let's get... Looks like another the cake. It says Fuji Apple Cake. So not quite the same as the Manju. Slightly different set. Uh, Fuji Apple Cake. But it has a similar design. Okay. So Fuji Apple Cake. This cake is baked to perfection, filled with Fuji apples, soaked in a ho homemade caramel syrup, hints and walnuts for the perfect winter snack. Sorry, I wish I got cider instead, but hey, Fuji apple cake. I like Fuji apples. I prefer pink ladies, but Fuji's pretty nice. I used to, I used to like Golden Delicious, honestly, but. Anyway, so a little, a little bigger and rounder than, you know, a little bigger and rounder than the Manju. So when you taste the apples, they're crushed in there instead of it being a paste. Think of like an apple breading or an apple pie, but not quite as creamy. More of a breaded apple snack. It's interesting. I like it, but I think the texture is a bit... I think if it was an apple paste, I'd probably like it more. But if you like crushed apple snacks or breading, that's pretty good. So we get got Manake Neko again. This looks probably like a like a rice cracker if I'm being honest. And I'm seeing we got. Let's save another one of those. Then all right, so. The Manake Neko, waving cat that's believed to bring good f or through, no, uh, okay. Though Manake Neko, a waving cat believed to bring good fortune, decorate homes in Japan year-round, they're especially popular near New Year. This senbei, rice cracker, snack features a large Manake Neko on its packaging, so have luck on your side. I'm not sure about the flavoring, didn't describe that. No Dang. Are we going to have bad luck, it seems? <sighs> really shouldn't, but I'm anticipating a very sugary one. You can tell a very sticky. Yeah, you can get a sticky gleam on there. Nope, it was savory. It was soy sauce would be my guess. Hopefully, I get good luck despite the dropping of my food. Now, and let's get you. It says Mo It says Mojico banana sand cookie. I like it when they put English on there. So that I know exactly what I'm getting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, here we go. And it's exactly what it is. Three of the best flavors come together in this unique cookie. Banana, chocolate, and cornflakes. I get breakfast for lunch. Listen to the crunch when you bite into this confection. Cornflakes. 
Whoops. There we go. Keep forgetting that my screensaver shows up. Nope. There we go. A little easier. Looks more like a wafer. Yeah, not. You can see on this camera, it's pretty big and thick. Mm. Very banana. I'm guessing there's white chocolate inside there. But. It's like nice crunchy wafer cookie thing. But the banana really. Well, there it is. A little bit of crunch at the end. The white chocolatey flavor in there. And the, and the crunch. Very nice. Up there with the Black Thunder. Could really go for another one of those. Anyway. You got chocolate crunch. Yay. I'm all for chocolate. Give me chocolate. And, luckily, on the same page here. Corn chocolate crunch. Sweet and savory come together in this bite-sized snack that combines, combines delicious chocolate and delightful corn! We can tell you all about corn! No, in Minnesota, we can talk to you all about sports disappointment. Anyway. Um. Oh. It's like a haystack looking thing. So, well, I've seen stuff like this. Except it's more coconut, but this is more of a corn. Yeah. Yeah. Think of like a Quaker rice cracker or a, like if you'd have a, a this is going to sound strange, but imagine instead of the cheesy Tito corn puff, imagine a chocolate one. And that's the best way I would describe that. It's really good. Like halfway between a corn puff and a rice cracker. Really good. What are you? You look like crackers. And you look spicy. Or you could look very interesting. Distinctive packaging, if nothing else. But uh, let's see what we got. Distinctive packaging. Do, 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 do. Mm. Ah. Fried rice crackers miso. So soy sauce crackers. Deep fried rice crackers are flavored with sweet and spicy miso, a particular spe specialty of Nagoya. The unique screw shape is perfect for infusing umami flavor into each nook and cranny. So. Miso is soy sauce miso soup flavor so I kind of know what I'm expecting here and yep corkscrew look there speaking of like Cheetos but I know I've seen hmm It's also kind of spicy. Yeah. That's what immediately hits me is spice. But more of a delicate spice. A 1.5. Nothing that's... It's more flavorful than spicy. Hmm. Hmm. Quite nice. Hmm. You'll do a little bit to mask it, but not that much. 
this looking big. This looks like a donut. Interesting. Mayho brand. So. Alright. Hmm. Okay, it's not that one. Yeah, the spice still lingers a bit. Alright, Mayho. Nagoya cake. Okay, so Nagoya cake on butter. Red bean paste made from Hokkaido azuki beans, cooked with glacial sugar, wrapped in moist, moist chewy dough for a tantalizing New York, or uh, New Year, not New York, New Year's treat. I've never been to New York. It's probably super expensive. Anyway. Yep. It's a mini donut. I love mini donuts. Except I can definitely tell there's going to be something in here because it is, it is very thick. So yeah, that red bean paste. It's easy to, it's easy to disconnect. So that fig newtony looking stuff is azuki paste, red bean paste. The more that I bite into it, the more it lingers and the more it tastes good. Mm. Mm. Oh, this has been a really good box. We've had some really good boxes the last couple of months. Because again, you can't really predict what stuff they're going to send, so you don't know if it's going to, you know, because if it was me, like all the Black Thunder stuff, <laughs> all the Ozzy crunches, you know, that would just pop off the screen and pop into my mouth. But, you know, the benefit is just different stuff. This looks like orange. So... find this one somewhere. Um, uh. Wakayama Mikan Gummy. These gummy candies are made with Unshu Mikan, Mandarin origins, uh, oranges, grown in Wakayama Prefecture, feature a juicy jelly center that elevates their citrusy flavor. Yeah, the packaging definitely describes this as a as a scent has a centerpiece to it. Still a few things left. Near the end I kinda weigh my options and see which would be the best ending. Anyway. So I'm just gonna go with one there just to show it off and then probably yeah. Oh, it's very tough to eat. Yeah. So it's got a centerpiece to it. Oh. Oh, yeah, there it is. A little creamy in the center. But very, very tough. Um, think of like a juicy jelly hard candy in terms of the consistency because it's it's tough otherwise it tastes really good it's very pleasant mm. so, don't want that one. There we go. To finish up my tea there. Okay. Yeah, we're getting near the end of the box. Let's see here. So this is going back a little bit. 
Okay, I'm kind of glad I saved this to midway and not the end because I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this. A coffee marshmallow. I have, I'm notoriously not a coffee guy. I, I'm not a big into the into the flavor. Soft and chewy marshmallow is wrapped in dark coffee chocolate cream for the ultimate sweet treat. Add it to your favorite warm winter beverage or even heat it up and spread it over spread it on toast for a quick dessert. Oh yeah, because it's marshmallow. -y. But um really the difference here is going to be how much marshmallow versus how much coffee. Cuz I am not a coffee guy. I'm okay having the stuff but yeah. So a big glob there. You can see on this one, big, big glob. Ooh. Yup. Oh, that is... I don't know how intense coffee can get, but this is one of the ones I've noticed. So, if you're wondering, there's a lot in there. And, uh, oh, it, yeah, it, yeah, it, it just explodes. If you're a coffee person, you'll like this. I don't. The outer shell is nice. It's a marshmallow, but it's it, it's got a unique holding texture to it, so it's not, like, something you could just squish. But, hmm. No. No, it's 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 like when I ever whenever I have um beer in stuff. I'm just not a beer or coffee person. Um so that one there's still quite a few things. So, I still have quite a few things left. But, yeah, as you can see, the, uh, the box was starting to go down. So, so we got one, two, three, four, five things. Let me weigh my options here. So let's see what's left. Got Eto Candy Dragon. Kintaro Candles are handmade Japanese candy. Detailed design for their center. Kintaro Candles feature a dragon. A sweet flavor. Well, I'm not sure what that's going to be. We've got a strawberry mochi. Sweet and sour strawberries are needed into the soft mochi for a rich strawberry flavor pair this mochi with a hot cup of tea okay that might go first we got caramel daifuku mochi All right. mochi is one of the traditional foods eaten when celebrating the new year take part of the festivities with this daifuku mochi filled with or filled mochi made with mellow caramel and sticky rice cake that might be it. that might be it um okay we got two more so pride potato no, this might go first. Pride potato, Kyushu grilled seaweed soy sauce. Uh, that's probably going first. Made with conjure eel caught at the Kanz, uh, Kane, Kanezaki, or Kanezaki. Kanezaki, got it. I messed it up again. Kanezaki. There we go. Fishing port, seaweed from the Ariake Sea, and soy sauce made the traditional way in... Monokata City. The snack is an explosion of umami. So, yeah, right there. Probably gonna beat out the coffee, but... Yeah. Alright, this is different. Shibafune Ginger Cookie. Ginger is po po popular to eat in Japan during winter months because it warms you right up. Savor this ginger cookie with, an, with a robust flavor that's not overpowering. Okay, we got caramel. Not... All right, so I'm saving the caramel for last. So, so you know, let's get this. Okay, so, yeah, let's. 
They look like potato chips because they are, in fact, potato chips. But they're seaweed soy sauce. Let's see. They don't taste like anything. It's amazing you put so many things into a dish and it came out tasting like nothing. Isn't that right, Kanji? <laughs> Persona 4 joke. This one a little bit more. There we go. That's actually not bad. Um... I think the soy sauce has a little bit more than the seaweed does. Mm. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I'll finish that up later. Um, that's ginger cookie. So this is strawberry mochi. Pretty straightforward. Strawberry mochi. Can't really go wrong with strawberry mochi. Nice and light. Okay. Ginger cookie. Okay. This looks more like a potato chip than a cookie, if I'm being honest. That is, that is the biggest potato chip cookie I've ever seen. Look at that thing. This is the camera from far away. Holy crap. So apparently this is the ginger flavored cookie. Mm -hmm. Ginger flavored fortune cookie. The best way I would describe it. The consistency is the 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 deep fried sort of fortune cookie thing you'd get at, at faux Chinese restaurants. I say that because I don't think fortune cookies exist in China. At least I don't think they do. But yeah, if you've had fortune cookies, you've had this. But it's ginger. With a pretty intense sweetness. Not gonna lie. Alright, so what are these? Well, I've never had these before, so the packaging is very unique. So they said these were the these were the candles. These might be the hard candies. Um Speaking of hard, ow. Open up, will ya? Might need scissors. Okay, that one I'm not getting. That fell in the worst possible spot. Anyway, I'll pick it up later. But yeah, there we go. Not quite melon. Not quite mint. Think of like a like a mint you get it. Like a mint candy, like a mint hard candy, but like a melony aftertaste kind of. Or yeah, strawberry citrusy kind of thing. It's really nice. Because it's not quite, it's not quite peppermint or something like that. It's its own distinct thing. 
Obviously, the one I'll get down there I'll pick up later. But there we go. My last meal is a piece of silica gel. Got caramel daifuku mochi. So let's see. As stated before, these books come every month. You can get them in an annual subscription, a little cheaper than $50 per month. I tend to do the monthly so that I just know that I've bought it and have the money set away. So I'm spending more, but I, I, I've said before, this is my thing. And if you get Sakurako or Tokyo Treat or Boksu, you can't really go wrong. I would definitely advertise this all the time. So I do. But yeah, caramel. Ooh, there we go. Woo, 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 woo. Mm. Oh, yeah. Very thick caramel. Mm -hmm. Very good. I did save my favorite of those for the last. So, Black Thunder, Corn Chocolate Crunch. Actually, no. The Black Thunder was the good one. I'm gonna wait for those again if I get the Black Thunder one. Those are really good. It was the Banana Sand Cookie. That was also really good. But that'll do it for this month. And I'll see you in January. Thanks.